Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Indianas Academy. So guys, in any manufacturing industry, there are several types of the processes which are conducted on a workpiece from its initial stage up to the final stage. So in the final stages, there are like the finishing operations and the super finishing operations which are carried out on that particular workpiece. So in this particular video, we are going to learn about the, some sort of the super finishing process which is called as the lapping process. So this particular lapping process is the super finishing process and it is usually done after the grinding process. So basically in this particular video we are going to learn about this lapping process, why does this process is carried out, what is the actual requirement of this particular process, what are its advantages, disadvantages and some sort of the applications. In this particular video we are going to cover all these parameters. So let's begin with our today's topic of the lapping process but before going to our today's topic Please do subscribe to my education channel Ingenious Academy and please press the bell icon because your subscription will really motivate me to make more of such educational content. So guys without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic of lapping process. So guys in the manufacturing industry like the some sort of the parts which require some close tolerances, some sort of the parts which require snap fits like this particular part will assemble to other different part that is this part will met to other different parts so this is the reason the parts will require the close tolerances in order to achieve this close tolerances a particular surface finish is required and in order to achieve that surface finish there are some sort of the finishing and super finishing operations like finishing operations which includes the buffing grinding so this will be the finishing operations but after the finishing operations like there will be some sort of the irregularities on the surface of the workpiece if we go on a microscopic level like the surface of the workpiece won't be like a single flat line the flatness won't be on a higher side like there will be some sort of the irregularity if we look at the microscopic level and that irregularity will get removed in the super finishing process such as lapping process. In the lapping process, the, this particular irregularities are removed and the surface finish of the level which is of 0.003 mm or as 0.03 mm is achieved. So now let's understand what is exactly lapping process. Well the name itself says that is the lapping. So you must have heard about the lap joint. This particular joint consists of the two plates which are overlapping on one another. So over here the lapping process is very much similar to that of the lap joint. In this particular process the tool and the workpiece will form a lap joint and there will be some sort of the abrasive particles which forms which are there which are in between these two mating surfaces and the workpiece will be there and just below that particular workpiece there will be some sort of the abrasive powder, abrasive slurry which will be of aluminium oxide, emery powder or else silicon dioxide or else some sort of the crystalline structures which is there in between the tool and the workpiece. The tool over here used is the plate which rotates at very slow speed that is made up of cast iron. So basically the structure will be similar to like this you can see over here this is the lapping machine. So over here in this particular lapping machine there will be a circular plate which is made up of cast iron. This particular plate rotate at slower speeds and upon that particular plate the workpiece is placed and just between this workpiece and the plate the abrasive slurry will be there. Now this particular workpiece is placed upon that particular plate and it is pushed so there will be a pressure exerted on the workpiece and it will push the workpiece against the rotating plate that particular abrasive particles removes the any of the irregularities on the surface of the workpiece and it will give the desired surface finish so that is nothing but the overall principle of the lapping machine lapping process now this particular lapping process is used in the glass machining ceramic materials machining some sort of the brittle, brittle material machining so these are some sort of the applications of the lapping process this particular lapping process does not produce any sort of the heat as they are in the conventional machining process there will be heat generated so this is the reason there will be no stresses induced in the workpiece the material removal rate over here in the lapping process is very much less 
So this is the reason there will be no heat gets generated in the lapping process. This particular process is very much costly and it induced a high cost. So that becomes another disadvantage of this particular lapping process. But over here the advantage is that we are getting the high amount of the surface finish. It produces the close fits between the mating surfaces. Extreme accuracy of dimensions we are getting over here in this particular lapping process. The corrections of minor imperfections are like can be done over here in this particular process, lapping process. Also over here there is no holding of the workpiece is carried out. There is no holding device which is used to hold the workpiece. So this is the reason there will be no external force or external pressure get applied on the surface of the workpiece which can cause the distortion in the workpiece. So this will be the another added advantage over here in the lapping process. So there are two types of the lapping process that is the conventional lapping that is of the hand lapping process that is the manual lapping and the second one is the automatic lapping which is which can be carried out by using a specialized machine basically. In the conventional lapping process, hand lapping process, the workpiece and the tool, the workpiece is pressed manually against the rotating tool that is rotating cast iron plate and that particular overall operation is carried out manually. In the machine based operations like there will be some sort of the arrangement for moving the workpiece on the surface of the tool like there will be some sort of the uh, pneumatic or else hydraulic systems which exert constant pressure on the surface of the workpiece. So that is the, nothing but the machine based lapping process. This particular lapping process is a slow process and this is very much expensive process. The cost incurred in lapping process is on higher side. So guys, over here in this particular video, we have learned about the lapping process, its advantages, disadvantages and some sort of the applications. So guys, I hope you like my video. If you have any doubts, any queries, you can comment below. And please do subscribe to my education channel, Engineers Academy. Thank you so much guys for watching this video.